I saw a video, right? So we're going to send that out to everybody. <laughs> I like this sled. All right, we have UCF coach Katie Abrahamson Henderson, senior Brittany Smith, and senior Diamond Battles. Uh, we will open it up with coach first, and then anybody that is out on our Zoom call, if you want to raise your hand, we'll call upon you individually. Um, and then we'll have everybody in the room that has any questions as well. So, coach, if you want to open it up. Uh, we're just very excited to, you know, make it to this point now. Um, sorry, I'm touching the mic that, you know, this is, this is one of our biggest goals is to get to the championship game. And, um, we hadn't played SMU all year long. They hadn't played us. So it was, it wasn't as easy of a game plan as that I thought it was going to be just because we hadn't played them. So I didn't know how they were going to play, but I thought our team really came out focused. Uh, we held their go-to players to, um, single digits, which is big. Um, for our team and and I, I feel like we did a great job of balance scoring and just really stepping up as a team and playing great defense and hold, holding this team to 28 points um, you know that's a good that's a great feat that our our team did all right first we'll go to Kyle Nash uh, thanks uh, first of all welcome back ladies to uh, the American Athletic Conference final um, coach, let me ask you this first, um, 68 to 28 final score. Um, do you feel like this was the team's most complete effort to date? Uh, well, uh, not just this one. No, I, I, I think that we've had, um, several, I mean, this is, this is the way we like to play. I mean, defensively, we had three single digit quarters, um, against them. And that's, you know, we were always trying to focus on single digit quarters, um, I thought our press was okay, not as great as always, but um, we did make them um, turn the ball over 22 times. And, you know, they hadn't played us yet. So, you know, if you, it's really hard to prepare two in one day for our press, our defense, and just how we play. But, um, you know, we just did a really good job of um, those single digit quarters. Uh, Brittany, let me ask you this, another double digit game there in the, uh, in the post spot there one more time, you know, doing, uh, doing the whole Brittany buckets thing that you would do with the turnaround jumper and all that. Um, what was different in, in this particular game that SMU brought um, where you got a few extra openings there? Um, I feel like I come into every game, you know, with the same mentality, with the, the same idea of what I'm going to do. I don't really let like the opponents determine my game. So I came in and did what I do best. You know, last question from me uh, for the student athletes, both um, Diamond and Brittany there. Um, when I talked to you ladies back in November, met you for the first time, the goal was clearly the conference championship. Now that it's this close, what's going on in your mind? What's the feeling? Um, this is our moment. I mean, we got to stay locked in. We got to stay at UCF. We can't let other things or other people determine our plan, our game plan, our mental. So just being locked in and being captains, we got to make sure our team is locked in and ready to go. Any other questions, Kyle? Oh, no, I'm good. Thank you, ladies. All right, next we have Colin Thomas. So Diamond, uh, congratulations to you guys. Every, every one of you, you guys, you guys made it. I know this is a goal for you. Kind of going off of what Kyle was saying, I want to go to you, Diamond, you know. Last season, championship game, you go down. You know, this was a big goal for you guys to get back and get back to the championship game. What's different about your mindset this year compared to last year heading into the championship game? Um, well, we have a chip on our shoulder. That makes sense. I mean, we know the feeling when we lost, and we're going to do everything in our gut to play hard and play how we play to get to not feel that feeling again. So just, you know, we gotten better with our defense, with our playing together, with our balance scoring. So just playing how we've been playing for the se for the for the season is big. So just coming in tomorrow and playing how we play, and that's it. Hey, and Coach Abe, I want to focus on the first quarter a little bit. I know the team forced seven of their twenty-two turnovers of the game in the first quarter. How important was it to get a quick, like a good first start heading into the game? the tone um i mean that was important it's setting the tone for a team that hasn't played us yet i think that was big and that was one of our messages to start i said it's not the end of the game it's the first four minutes of the game we're going to set the tone right away and um you know our starters did that any other questions colin no that's it for me all right next we'll go to eric lopez 
for uh, Diamond and then Brittany, when you're playing as well as you are defensively, I think you held SMU in the long droughts throughout the game. How do you, do you feel like you're in a, you know, locked in, like kind of in this different era? Like, do you know when you're playing at the highest level defensively? What's it like? That's a good feeling. I mean, our defense creates our offense. That's just how we play. Um, when we're locked in as a team, it's really hard to score against us. I'm not even going to lie. I mean, when we're locked in, everybody's on the same page. We all have energy. We're pressing the ball. We have me being loco, and then it gives energy to Moss. It gives energy to Brittany and Desto. It's just really, it's just really a fun atmosphere. So when we have defensive pressure and we're playing defense like UCF plays defense, it's, it creates our offense, and we just go like that. Um, I mean, I've said it a thousand times, defense is our mentality, it's our identity. So when we get stops, we're doing what we got to do. The game is just so much more fun. We give each other energy and it's just it's a really good time. Uh, question uh, for Coach, uh, Burton's played really well and you were able to show your depth in this game. Uh, what did you see there to call her number and really came through for you? Yeah, I actually talked to her before the game and I knew that um, the style of defense that this team plays is a style that she likes to play against. And so I knew she could get to the basket. I knew she could do a lot of rejecting. I knew that in transition, she can she could score a little bit. And so I was kind of obviously trying to run some sets for her so she could get some layups and stuff. And um, and then it just gave her a little bit more confidence to knock down some, you know, catch and shoot jumpers that she had. So she really starts us off in the press, you know, that, that way uh, Tay can start in the back and she doesn't have to play the front of the press the whole game. That's a lot. And so Shania really starts us off with that energy at the front of the press and, you know, just getting after people and her and Diamond were you know, trapping people and her and Tay were trapping people. And after they got a trap or a turnover, I could see in Shania's face, she was like really pumped up because, you know, she was she was starting that four minutes before a timeout to, to get everybody energy and just really get after it defensively. So, you know, I think she had a, she's had several games like this. I mean, the last USF game, she played really this kind of the same way and she was getting to the rim and being confident. And so hopefully she can keep that um, for tomorrow. And then uh, you go from playing a team that you weren't familiar with, you hadn't played, to you're going to play a team regardless of who wins the next game that you're quite familiar with and have a lot of history with. Take me, take me through that preparation now that you're going to face somebody that you're quite familiar with regardless of who wins the next game. Yeah, I mean, we're just going to watch. I mean, we're going to enjoy and watch. We're going to lock in. I mean, our team will be super locked in. It's great having all these super seniors and you know, mature people watching and, you know, a lot of them went through some things last year that they that they didn't really like and it didn't sit really well for them. So obviously um, we're just going to prepare for whoever we have to play and, um, you know, and that's the part of the fam being familiar with teams, you know, so there's there's a lot at stake for whoever makes it tomorrow, you know, and a lot at stake it up for us and a lot at, at stake for the other team. All right, next we'll go to Trace. A coach, you talk about defense driving the offense, 22 turnovers, and you score 24 points off of those turnovers. You're really showing that you mean that, the defense drives the offense. I mean, I know it, the way we play defensively, I think that you everybody really thinks that it's just that it's all we concentrate on. But every really good team in the country, doesn't matter who it is, men's and women's basketball, defense is – they're a staple. I mean, you have to play great defense to be a good, really good team. I mean, you can't just, you know, let the other team score 100 points and you score 101. That's super dangerous, right? So, I mean, defensively, I think it, it just, we've, we've kept it super consistent. A lot of teams play zone. A lot of teams play man. A lot of t people do different things in their zones and mix it up. And I think why our defense is so good is that we've kept it really the same for all the, for all six years that we've been here, five years, six years, I don't know, six, six years that we've been here, we've kept it the same. And so it just, we're so confident in it. We make little tweaks here and there. And SMU did a couple of things that were new today for us. And so we really just took it as a challenge and found a way to guard it. Actually at one and a half time and the team was like, can we do this against that? And I was like, oh, okay, yeah, sure. <laughs> but nobody fouled, you know? So I think because our defense has just stayed consistent the whole time, they're super confident in it. So confident in it. They're not going out there and playing some completely new defense in a in this championship setting they're playing the defense they've known how to play both of these have played this defense for four years I mean that's that makes you super confident you want to be playing your best ball in March how can you play better than giving up 28 points um I don't know 
I don't know. That's a question for them. You know, I'm just, I mean, I, I just, we got to play really good defense all, all the time. I mean, I, I didn't think against Tulsa, we played exceptionally great a defense against them. But, um, you know, I, I just think every new team we play and it, it's a new challenge. So whoever wins tomorrow, I mean, those coaches are really good coaches. They're going to come up with something new and then we're going to have to adjust to how, you know, they're either their press break against our press or in the half court setting, how, what new play, new set, new, whatever they're going to do against it. Um, we just got to be able to adjust. And then for Brittany and Diamond, that same question, you've given up 28 points here. How can you play better uh, in that championship game than you showed tonight? <laughs> I mean, I mean, we could hold somebody lower than 28. <laughs> <laughs> I think we just have to come in with the same mentality. Um, no matter who our opponent is, just playing our basketball. I mean, we say it all the time. When we play UCF basketball, it's amazing. So just it's no such thing as playing better. It's just playing UCF basketball. And for both of you, your confidence is as high as it's ever been right now, right? Of course. We've earned that for ourselves, though. Thank you, ladies. We'll go back to Colin Thomas to wrap up. Yeah, Coach Abe, I kind of want to go to – I want to go back to the, the play before halftime. There was a heads-up play where Tay Sanders had – she she had a steal, and then she passed it off to to uh, Mirtens for a quick uh, buzzer-baiting layup. What can you say about the uh, the discipline that Tay had to get the pass off as, as the uh, shot clock was going down? I mean, Tay's really having fun with this. I got top assist thing. So I think um, she knows that, you know, a lot of people aren't going to let her drive to the basket. So she's been really working on jump stopping and making good passes and stuff. And so after the game, we do some really cute things. And we always talk about her assists because she's not known. Lish is known to be an assist person and Diamond's known to be a, an assist person and even Shania. But Tay's not known to be a really good assist person. So, you know, it's really cute after the game. Even these last two games, she's had – a lot of top assists. So, you know, she's just getting really good at making better decisions and passing to the open people. All right. Thank y'all. Sweet. Thank you. All right, we have SMU coach Toyel Wilson. Coach, if you want to start off with the opening statement and then we'll go questions to the audience. Um, just proud of our girls. Um, kudos to UCF, they're a great team. Ranked 25th in the nation for a reason. It's first time we got to see them this year. Um, they're really good. So I'm just proud of our girls and not telling them not to let this one game kind of tell what our story is. And so I'm just proud and um, hopefully we get selected for WNIT and live to play another game all right questions from the audience if you want to raise your hand we'll get the microphone over to you we got ariana from the Dallas morning news coach when you first arrived here you said all you wanted to do was to bring joy back to the program and mm -hmm. you know yesterday you're saying you wanted to make history um you've done that and as you leave here today well, what's the biggest accomplishment you'll remember through the season i'm um, just having our girls be able to play a successful year and um finish top four in a conference and um, win a power five. We had some goals this year. Like I said, it was double figure wins and uh, beat a power five school and hopefully get to a conference tournament uh, or a postseason tournament. And so we did that. And I'm glad we won one game in the conference tournament and we can have something to build off now. And that's what I'm proud of, that they actually enjoyed playing this year and had fun. So um, again, the girls battled. We had a goal this this game to battle on the boards, and we we were even 34-34. So they've been out rebounding people um, all year, and so that's that was one of our goals for this game. So we try and take a little bit of the good from everything, no matter what the situation is. And so um, that's what I like about our kids. They're resilient. They respond, and and they they don't hang their heads. Uh, back in November, um, you said. Rome wasn't built in the day. Mm -hmm. It wasn't built in the length of a basketball season either. Um, are you still preaching patience to this team? Yeah, I think, but also like, you know, um, we want to win right away. Of course, any new coach and coaching staff want to win right away, but um, we still have a lot of growing to do. 
we still have a lot of um, pieces to the puzzle that we need. I think we got a lot of good pieces late when we first got here. Um, so now we got to build off those pieces and add more pieces. Um, so again, you know, uh, patience is a virtue, but um, I'm stingy. I like to win right away. Question. Uh, yeah. What changes did you make heading into that second quarter? It was pretty tight. It was like a 13, 12 quarter. Um, you, everybody kept up. Yeah, I think um, we took care of the ball. I think Paige came in and gave us some really good minutes off the bench. Her presence, her her presence on the court changed because of her height. Um, and I think that our girls scored the ball. We got stops. We made a couple adjustments offensively. We set a screen a little bit, and we were able to get downhill off of that. And so um, I was proud of that they made that adjustment. We battled. I just wish we battled more than just 20 minutes. All right. Any other questions in the room? All right. Thank you, Coach. Thanks.